is my version of our theme song if it, we were in if it, we were in Family Guy verse. Our theme song? Yeah. Okay. Let's hear it. Seems today. <laughs> okay, ready? Never mind. Never mind. Everyone is singing, dance, never mind. I have a thought, wait, never mind. I have a, I have a question, wait, never mind. I knew the answer the entire time. With Kyle and Veronica, it's never mind. Wow, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> really we might be able to change that. <laughs> what I thought you meant is Can that- Can someone animate that into a family guy? Like we turn into the family guy If cartoons? someone does that, I will pay them- I'll, I'll uh, be I'll, careful. I'll Venmo them a hundred dollars. If someone can turn what just happened, <laughs> they right deserve there, more than that. I'll say that right now. Okay, well, I'm just saying, if someone wants to do it for a hundred dollars, yeah, they've got it. They've got it. It's right okay. there. What I thought you meant is that you were going to do like the beat that we have that is the intro theme song for oh, Nevermind. I right. thought you were going to do that as if it was Family Guy, which I was really confused by because I was like, wow. I don't know how that makes any sense. And putting it over. How does it go again? Is that really how it goes? I feel like you're in the wrong key. It's definitely in the wrong key. I can't just pitch match like that. Fuck. Well, whatever. Um, what key, guys? What key, guys? What key is the theme song in? I could tell you right now. If you let me look it up, I could tell you because that's a beat. Fun fact that I made. Woohoo! Everyone, I'm itchy. We're back! Episode six! No, episode seven! seven. <laughs> <laughs> what is time? What is time but a construct, right? Um, episode seven. Uh, episode seven. Welcome We're back. Uh, please, please, you know, you know the drill, you guys. Comment, like, subscribe, and for bonus episodes, then follow the eight Patreon, where there's more magic and more fun discoveries to be had. That's my new character. Is there a name for the character? <laughs> Dimitri. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Dimitri. Okay, this is the this is like a and he's a he's a canceled musical community mu- musical theater um, director who got canceled for reasons I can't say online. That's, wow. Anyways, that's I like to do dark stuff too. Sometimes she said it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the fucking YouTube. Subscribe drop a to like, shit. drop a comment. And today's episode is brought to you by. You hear that? Guess what that is? Yep. And if you guessed a recess, recess. um, hemp uh, infused sparkling water, cum, cum, yeah. Let me try it again. Cool, calm, and collected. Um, thank you, Recess, for, for sending these over. They're actually mm. so good. Mm. <laughs> that sounded fake. They're actually, like, so good. They are really <laughs> good. Real, they really are. Um, I, cool, calm, I was, collected. I'm somebody who's, uh, as everyone knows now, scared of weed, right? And every time I see hemp thing, I go, Wait. like, I w- I'm like, oh, my God, I must be high. That must be high. I've tried now th- four of these because I'm addicted to heat. This is good. I'm not just saying it. Because I'm addicted to that ash. Um, they actually calm me down and make me feel zen AF while not being high at all. And you could get them from your local grocery stores, local convenience stores, wherever. And they actually are epic AF right before, like, you know, say you're nervous or you're really anxious, then have one of these. Mm hmm. Uh, what flavor do you have? Black cherry. Mm hmm. I got black. I got blackberry chai. Can I try that? Yeah, I actually like good. it. It's way better. Co- it's all way better. Whoa. Yeah, because I got that chai. It's like a little bit spicy. Whoa. <laughs> also, we have not fixed the mouth sounds, and I don't know if we will. Hey. That one's good. I like that. I know. The way I'm holding it feels really like lame. I'm like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> You're double fisting. Recess. Um, Those are good. Thanks for sending these to us, Recess. For real. Some more if you'd like. Um, but this episode isn't just brought to us by Recess. No. Let's let's be real. It is brought to you by all oh, the unsung heroes of the internet. 
the ones who rally, the ones who fight, the ones who keep us together. And who is that? The Nevermind Nights! <laughs> you! You! <laughs> mm. And Nevermind Nights are our mm, just beloved, beloved patrons over there at Patreon. That's right. And every episode, if you haven't caught on already, we give them a lovely little shout out. Because honestly, they, because we actually don't have, like, we don't have corporate sponsors no. or anything like that. We're not opposed to it, but we don't have that shit. But these are our sponsors. And as we always do, cue the motherfucking music. And let me hear it, Veronica. We thank you, Knight, for your contributions and your and your lives out on the line for us. Thank you, Aaron. Help me. You got it. No. You got it. I can't. Ruggiero. Ruggiero. Someone commented that I got someone's, that I pronounced their name really wrong. Who? Wait, someone, someone said that. And you, you know, know okay, what? Let me just and say you know this. What? Okay. okay. Well, let me say, let me say this. Okay. My name is Veronica Slovikowska. That's right. Veronika Slovikowska. You tell me one motherfucking time or someone that's my name right. Never. Literally never. I think since we've started doing the music thing, we have to cut it every time right in the beginning or somewhere through because something comes up like this. Whose name did you mispronounce? I don't know, but I'll remember after. Well, okay. Thank really? You. Ready? Here we okay. go. We're cutting back in. And, and go. Carson, Chris Cash Gains Cashmere, Clark Betts, Deals for Reels, Eric Burke, Evan Stark, Finn Bruce, Gavin Telford, Greg, Hayden Coon, uh, James Dell, Katie Chase, Laura A, Lily One of One, Lucy Walker Cox, M3, Michaela. Michaela. Michaela, holy fucking shit, she's been here for the beginning since the beginning of time, and I love you, Michaela. Nelson Brooks, Ronnie Duniagi. Duniagi. Sarah, Sarah Del Strong, Seth Fowler, Show BC. Veronica underscore is not cool underscore just kidding underscore she's cuts off so cool Zan and Yona Woo. tonight we fight and that's a never mind nights who really be the one sponsoring this shit for us and we love y'all thank you so much we love you we thank you for everything truly they got a sweet done. little uh, Thanksgiving message we were feeling extra grateful, extra thankful over the over the turkey day. Should we do... Um, and we said them. Should we do what? No, um, I was going to say someone commented that we should do fit checks for the visual mm. listeners. Okay. So we stand up and we give a nice what little if we fit st- check. If we stand up, we won't see... Well, just that much. Maybe we'll do like a little crouch on the... Yeah, yeah, do your thing. Do thing. your thing. Okay. I'll okay, do a little crouch. ready? I'll go first. Yep. <clears throat> Fire AF, here we go. Kyle's going first. So I got on. Does this work? You can see everything, right? Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> Start from the bottom. We got on Yeezy slides. Woo! Real or fake? These are real. I got yeah. them retail value, retail price. A friend of mine was working at BBC. He hooked it up. Billionaire Boys Club is BBC. And uh, he hooked it up when they had a release. So, you know, I always got to have on the Divic socks. I got on some vintage Carhartt double knees i got on the dog leg dog leg merchandise t-shirt shout out alex warren shout out alex warren for that. Love you. and then i've got on my new orleans pelicans city edition uh cap that's right and what what's what's the ice oh shoot come on man we got on a chrome hearts bracelet Woo. we got on an iced out um, uh cuban link that's right and we got the Dybbuk iced out uh, <clears throat> chain. And then gold, double chained up, two chains. Gold chain that my dad gave me years ago. It used to be his, but now it's Shout out, Dad. Damn. And I think... All right. I was going to say Dybbuk boxers. I'm coming in. Dybbuk boxers on. All right, let me hear. What Ready, you got? Here we go. 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Write down if you know that what that is. Okay, here we go. We got the socks. Black socks. Don't know where they're from. Probably like Shoppers Drug Mart. Can shout out that. Um, vintage Levi's. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> what are these ones? Five oh. 501s? Five, oh, 550s. 550s, 550s. Got the ass to be tight. And to make the men and the women go 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 go. Okay, then we got on the Uniqlo <laughs> sweater. I love Uniqlo. I love the cross from Uniqlo. It's the only place I go. And we got the Warby Parker's uh, glasses. Yes, I wear glasses. Um, so everyone has to get used to that part now. And uh, earrings are from this place. I don't know what it's called. Doesn't matter. Silver place. Mm -hmm. Silver, Silver place. place. Silver place. They're real. Okay. Um, not expensive though. That's the fit. And that's the fit. Thank you so much. Wow! Drop the bomb. Yay! Drop the bomb. Sound effects. <sighs> that's it. That's I did that one. last time, and I loved them. I loved the sound effects last time. Yep. I had a really good time doing that. I was actually making myself crack up when I was putting in. Like the fart noise, which is just so juvenile of me to do, but it's funny. It was funny. It really elevated it. Oh, man. I thought it was funny. That's cool. The glasses are a new thing. Yeah. What's I'm up with that? Um, per permission, to, permission to go off. I, th I feel like I'm giving Tina Fey right now. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. Early 2000s comedy fucking that? power icon. No. no, what do people say? What do people say sometimes? For me? Kristen... Kristen no. Wiig. Yes. Kristen yes. Wiig. Kirsten? No, Chris, Kristen Wiig. Kristen. Yeah, I love her. Yeah. Yeah, I you, don't know why my brain stopped I was going to say you don't know her name, but well, you love her? I just her? don't want to get it wrong, because I've got... The last podcast, I got everybody wrong. I said Tom Hanks jumping on the, the couch. First off, it was Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes, and I, and I fucked it all up. And then I said well, yeah. Bo Burnham and Maddie Healy were kissing, and Phoebe Bridges in the back. It was... Actually, uh, Bo Burnham in the back, and Phoebe Bridgers and Matt, Matty Healy, kissing, mm. which I kind of like that these hot takes that I've been doing are gonna be wrong because they're from memory. Yeah, I mean, should we just get right into a hot take? I feel like you had something. Else I was gonna, to say. I was gonna wait a little bit, yeah, but no, 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 no. shit, I just now that we're to talking just, about we it, we don't have to do it now, but we could do it later. But you, I feel like you had something else to say. I say we get into it. Really? Cue the music. No. Cue the music. No, no, no. I want to do it later. I want to do it. Did you just smell your armpit? No, like, that was me cueing the music. No, do it next. I want to do it later. Come on, let's ease. The music's been cued. <sighs> Fuck. I'm going to do it again. Cue the music. Okay. Come prepared this time. Just a little bit. Um, this is a... This Can this be a conversation one? A celebrity gossip hot take. This can be a little con conversation. This can one be a conversation. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Celebrity gossip, hot take. Okay. With Veronica Slavikoska. Here we go. What you got? You took notes. Yes, today. but I don't know where I put it actually. You you already know what to say. No, 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 no. Damn it. Oh, ass. You already know what to say. No. Yeah, you told me a little bit earlier, and I said save it. Robert Pattinson. Okay, well, okay. Just well, get into it. You don't need your phone. No, I do need it. You don't I, need that. Yes. No, it's gone. Okay, you don't need it's it. It's fine. Put it away. Close <laughs> okay. it, put it down. Okay, okay, fine. Well, okay, the, the one that I was going to talk about, yes, well, everyone knows. You see, Robert, Robert Pattinson. here we go. Here we go okay. again. Hold on. You always say everyone knows. I feel like most of the internet knows. I don't know. Robert Pattinson and Suki. Yes. Water. See, Waterhouse. This is, this is, <laughs> there we go. See, Waterhouse pregnant. She's looking gorgeous. She's looking glowing. I'm really happy for them, and I think they're going to make it all the way. Another couple I think are going to make it all the way: Harry Styles and Taylor Russell. Oh, um, I they're think an item. That's right. Oh yeah, so an item, and, I th and it's real. I believe it's not PR, and mm. I really think they're going to make it all the way. What makes you say that? It's a feeling, and I think their energy. It's just she's artsy and beautiful, and he. I think even though okay, another hot take. I don't like. Mm, sorry, I don't get the Harry Styles appeal. I would I feel special if he came up to me and said that I was beautiful and would I probably have sex with him? Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I don't. I'm not like going. I think his mu his music is fine. There's nothing special. He's not like 
you know, changing. Watermelon sugar. sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Me when I drink. Me when I drink my recess. What do you but I'm not keep saying? Um, then I just said keep saying. <laughs> <laughs> keep saying. Keep saying. Um, English, please. No, keep saying. Okay. Is that something people say? Keep saying. Well. That could be a new little slang thing. Keep saying. Uh, this is a Canadian slang. What? what are you saying tonight? What are you saying? People don't know what that means here. It's just like, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you saying? What are you saying? Tonight? What are you doing tonight? Yeah, I've never heard that. Wow. What are you saying? I love it. Keep saying. Keep saying. Keep saying. Um, yeah, I just, I just, I think he's like a smart person. Um, I respect him, but I'm not going. I'm not. The, the panties aren't dropping. Hmm. And and my my music. I was thinking about what you delicate. I like that one. Anyways, I think that there that he is smart though, and I think he's with it, and I think he needs a woman who is also with it, and I think that they they're gonna make it all the way. Where I think he was dating people that maybe, well, Olivia Wilde. I don't know. That was a whole mm-hmm. fucking crazy thing. Um. Okay. Matt Rife got canceled. <sighs> Really what happened? You got to fill me in. I really don't know any see of this, this shit. I need to also get a... He... Well, the whole special... First off, Matt Reif, he's the hot, the hot yep. comic. Mm-hmm. Stand-up comic. Who I... Who is like AI generated. Um, Truly. Uh, I uh, am I a fan of Matt Reif. Well, no. I'm going to say it. No. Okay. Don't that's think fine. that's a hot take, but... Um, uh, he's a good businessman. So then he gets a Netflix special. And I think he, I think he's kind of funny. I think he's good at crowd work, and that's where really usually, good at crowd work. Yes, and that's where his videos go viral is his yeah. crowd work. But no one has seen his like joke jokes. Yeah. Okay. So then, I haven't. I've seen his crowd work. Haven't seen his joke jokes. Well, I've heard seen one. Joke so jokes. I'm just I'm just you know, uh, who who am I? But just just a. Uh, who am I? But just a uh, what's that word? Mere speck of dust. No, but I'm trying like someone who like filters inf- information. I oh, here know. we are again. <laughs> here know. we are again. <laughs> I love that. That's I don't know what that means. A running bit. Someone tell me what that word is. Um, a squire. A squire. Is that what I'm trying to do? I don't know if that's. <laughs> Anyways. Scribe, perhaps? No. That's one who writes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. We should have a medieval edition. So, a scribe. So but, so anyway, so we he- We dress up. I have like swords and stuff. It's super medieval. I you would. You're all about that. I'm not a big medieval guy. I don't want to talk about that, though. What happened to Matt Rife? So, anyways, everyone's like, wait, these jokes are really, like, misogynistic and whatever the hell. And I don't know if racist. I don't know. But anyways, so he kind of, so then all of his fans who are like, you know, girlies. Yeah, I was going to say he primarily has a female and audience. they're like, wait a second, he he's saying bad shit. And here's my thing. There is a way. I'm not saying you say bad, don't say bad shit. But just like, if you want to be a little bit edgy, whatever, mm-hmm. at least make it good. Mm-hmm. At least, and it was just kind of like. Oh. See, this is okay, a moment so where I'd love to be like, can you pull that up? I, I want to see these clips. Well, we'll have someone one day. We're getting there. And basically, this brings me to, to my next point of like, so uh, so now he he is completely um, like Republican and is like really like, like he, he posted the story. What? Yeah. And he's like, he posted the story. He's like, if you're offended by my jokes, you can buy one of these. And it was like a... Um, people with disabilities like helmet what yeah he completely is like fuck like fuck liberals whatever like just like i'm joining the dark side because they have cookies so wow yeah crazy yeah so So he's he's mm -hmm. canceled or well it's, just, it's like a thing where he's just like, if you can't beat him, join him. Yeah, he's, got, I, he's got some... Okay, I see. And I I, ha- I follow this guy, Jeff the Therapist, on um, TikTok. And he talked about how Matt, you know, I think his dad passed when he was really young. And basically that, that, that maybe he's just like seeking male validation from all mm. this because most of his fans were... Mm. 
young women, I could see that. Or women in general. Um, anyways, I, I'm, I feel like I'm talking so much, and I'm really sorry. No, you're not. That was great. Are we, are I, we done? No, I have one more thing. Oh, let's hear it. That, that you might, well. Let me hear it. Well, because Shane Gillis mm -hmm. is also someone who is on the dark side. Is he? I don't know. But, okay, he, to me, he's funny, right? Uh -huh. I'll say it. He's funny. Not everything. And I don't like it when, like, I, his special, it was just, like, it, he dropped the R word or said, like, gay, and that was, like, the punchline. And that's where I was, like, okay. Yeah, but, but fucking, I feel like he, the joke? he fits so, like, I don't know. He fits so like in the middle. He's so. Uh, yeah. I don't. I really don't know. I don't have a formed opinion on him. I haven't seen enough. Uh, I know he said some like fuck shit that I definitely don't align with at all. But um, anyways, it's just it's just like the shock mm -hmm. thing and how a lot of these people who I think like are liberal in their beliefs just eventually just just are like fuck that side because they got canceled once and it's like almost. Like, cause you could either apologize and get better or they just go, that's interesting. Let me just join this. I don't know. Yeah. Like they see the, <clears throat> I guess, cancel, cancel culture of that side. So they see it and then they're like, well, I don't want to be a part of that. So they jump ship. I wonder. Right. Yes. Yeah. And I wonder if you can get canceled. Like, say you you join, like, whatever, the Republican side or whatever it is, conservative side, and then and then you're, like, <laughs> and you say something, whatever, like, you're, you're pro-women's rights mm -hmm. or anything, and then what if they, they cancel, cancel you? you? <laughs> Probably. I doubt that. But anyways, so that's it? That was my... That, uh, was yeah. us, that was... Cue the music again. I had more, but I won't. That was a celebrity... Gossip hot take with Veronica Slavikoska. Now, Kyle, you talk because I talked for no, 23 was great. minutes. I really liked all of that. I really liked all of that. Um, you know, it's really interesting that you know all these things and I know absolutely nothing about that because you did. Not really. I know about the Shane Gillis stuff, but I don't really know about any of these other things. I know that Robert Pattinson is dating Suki Waterhouse. Didn't know they were engaged. Engaged. Didn't know they had a baby on the way. Mm -hmm. um, didn't know anything about the Harry Styles stuff. I will say I actually like Harry Styles' music, though. You don't like his music? There's some it's stuff that I like. so... You know what? No. You know what? I like maybe one song on each album. That's it. That's it. Okay. Hey. That and that's a, I was thinking about where you that one. Yeah. Did you like One Direction? Mm, I went to One Direction, their first concert ever when they opened for Big Time Rush. Mm. In Toronto, Canada. So hold up. Were you a were you a part of the like uh boy band? Not even boy band, but the I'm gonna group them all in together. The early Justin Bieber, One Direction, Big Time Rush, Jonas Brothers, all of that. Was that your shit? Yes. That was. Mm -hmm. I love boys. I I was a BTS fan. I yeah. bought floor seats to BTS and then COVID happened. Wow. I Oh, so this is them. even I have, recent. I have the gene. I do. But I meant when you were like younger, you were really into... <sighs> Kid, Ru Kid Ruel. Rao was was Justin Who? Bieber's first YouTube name. Oh and right, I, right, right, and right, 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 right. Shook me. So you're all about that Canadian, also oh, Justin yeah, Bieber, Stratford. I was yeah. And then I saw him at at Wonderland play when he was very young, and he put a, put a guitar pick in his mouth, and then my friend caught it, and I have a picture of me with the guitar pick to my cheek because he had it in his mouth. Oh, <laughs> how cute! <laughs> you like the Jonas Brothers? I loved him. Kill Mary Fuck. Fuck, um, kill Kevin. I'm sorry, and probably Mary now. Mary Joe, fuck Nick. Back in the day, kill kill Joe and Kevin, and Mary and fuck Nick. Really? <laughs> yeah. 
because he's yeah nick was definitely the cooler one to me and i didn't like the jonas brothers that's not why (laughs) there is that one commercial not even commercial i don't know what it was but there was some sort of thing um about it was like a i may i swear they showed it as a commercial but it was about like him having diabetes and they made it seem like he was like dying like he was like about to die the way that like they made it really really dramatic and he not that has the, the the more severe i was gonna say type, not, not that not that, that diabetes is. isn't serious what? not that diabetes isn't serious but um they just made it really 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 dramatic yeah yeah well they, there's documentaries that they've made i think they've made a few the most recent one they still talk about it and they go and they say the story of like yeah and then he started drinking a lot of pepsi and he started getting mood swings which is like honestly it is quite severe like yeah, 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 i have yeah, a friend yeah. who is married to her husband has diabetes and they're like yeah there's some driving they're you know obviously for sure <laughs> obviously we think diabetes is a, a severe medical issue mm-hmm. yes but he did have one song do you have a song about it oh yeah um because you don't know what it's like till it's gone it's very dun, 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 dun. Fuck. i used to play it on the piano do you know love bug do you know how that one goes? Cause I'm so blessed over the edge of just endless. I never. It's crazy though. You're not gonna finish the the line. I. Mm-hmm. My sisters would always be playing the Jonas Brothers CD in the car, and I'd be like, God, I hate this shit. But Did then that song would like come it? on. That song would come on. I'd be like, I can get down with this. And the what's uh, is it just called Year Three Thousand? Is that what it's called? Yeah, 3,000. Yeah, I really like that one a lot. Yeah. What, okay, what was your, like, first, or, like, embarrassing, like, fandom or something that you were, like, kind of obsessed with? I'm not embarrassed by any of it. I'll okay. start by saying that. Go ahead. But I was huge, like, into the pop punk world as a kid. Mm-hmm. Like, major. I was so obsessed with My Chemical Romance. I was obsessed with Green Day, Blink-182, Fall Out Boy, all the, you know, big popular... Boy bands. Boy bands, for sure. Mm-hmm. But different, you know. Mm-hmm. It's pop punk. Um, they rock. But yeah, I remember buying, and this is not pop punk, but one of the first CDs I bought was an AFI CD. Do you know AFI? No, what's AFI? AFI had... A couple of big songs in like 2001 i think i bought the cd in 2001 from a target or no sam's club i bought it at sam's club at sam's club it's like costco okay um, but it's owned by walmart sam walton i believe is the owner of walmart could be wrong about that um and i bought it there and just started listening to that type of music that that was like a little darker AFI was a little darker. But then I bought the Blink-182 CD, the self-titled Blink-182, mm-hmm. which also, I want to say, also came out in 2000. There's no way it was 2001. That must have been 2003, the Blink-182 self-titled CD. That long ago? Yeah, for oh sure. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. And then American Idiot. I feel like Idiot, there are people listening to this who were born in 2003, and I'm not even joking. Probably, yeah. yeah. And then American Idiot came out 2005 and welcome to the black parade came out 2006 and those cds were big for me i did also like the three cheers album of my chemical romance and i did have it but welcome to the black parade really sealed the deal for me on them and i was straight obsessed i mean with green day even specifically i was billy joe armstrong for halloween I had a big Did poster. you have eyeliner? Did you wear eyeliner? I think I did for yeah. for the costume. Oh, I'll yeah. see if I can find a picture of that and include the it. Eyeliner? But Fuck if I yeah. can't, then I don't know what to do. Um, I had a big poster of their Rolling Stone cover framed up on my wall. I played the drums and wanted to be like Trey Cool. Yep. From I like learned, I had a book that had all of the stuff to learn Green Day songs, like all of the, you know, music 
mm-hmm. written music. And yeah, that was my musical That was your shit. Obsession. I'm not embarrassed by any of it. Were you was it lyrically or was it kind of like just rocking your head out? Oh no, like, it was what, the vibe. What I mean I listened the, to the lyrics. What resonated with you? The it was just definitely the the vibe. I wasn't like really feeling the lyrics by any means. Feeling it. You weren't really the feeling so cold and low. I mean that song that song's about sex and i was however <laughs> old eight <laughs> wait and you weren't getting laid pussy <laughs> the, no i was that was that's probably my favorite bling song fate fell short this time yeah that one mm-hmm. um wow okay but what about like well we we know you're you're a selena wait what's the, what's her what does that mean <laughs> That you that Selena Gomez was also you were a fan of was it like from Wizards or Way Way Not her music place? or anything. Not even that. Not even so much as a kid. Her vibe. Yeah, that's your that's vibe. I'll post that though. Post that. Yeah. Well, I, I guess mean, I so, watch right? Wizard of, Wizards of Way Really Plays, but this is all post that. Damn. Okay. Nothing. There's nothing like kind of embarrassing that you're like. I had daydreams about. Okay. Well, I just I don't know. I would say I, I wouldn't. I I never really took. Like shame in any of the things that I was into. Even when Skrillex first was a thing, I was so into it. And I was like, the fact that you guys don't like this just makes me feel bad for you. Because I love it. Holy shit. That's how I would feel. This is the, this is the kind of people don't, need don't be these kind of fans. Don't be ashamed yeah, by it, though. I fuck just with like that. it. If you like something, don't be like, oh, I, I like this, but I don't know if other people are going to like this. Or I feel weird liking this. Just like it. Who cares? I, I fuck with that. I'm trying to think of if I have anything that's like kind of secret that I like. No, it's the same thing of like a while ago, uh, I just kind of entered my basic bitch era and I just am like totally because I used to whatever. I still am pretentious for sure. But like and and now, oh, like we love like Julia Michaels. and like, Love Julia Michaels. Yeah, and like I'm trying to think of. Yeah, I just kind of accepted it, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just like these. I remember at one point in time, like TV, reality TV, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. And here I go acting like a, you know, a, a pioneer again. But <laughs> I was bumping Charlie XCX. That's I want to say it was like college, and it was mostly because I liked Sophie, the yeah. artist Sophie, and there was a Rest song. Rest in peace. Yes, and there was a song that. Sophie produced for Charlie XCX on one of her newer things. Which one? Um, it's called, it's like the, one of the last songs on her album that's just like all red on the cover. And it's called Lip Gloss. How does it go? Mm, I keep it sticky icky like lip gloss. <laughs> mm, I keep it sticky icky like lip gloss. You were mm. saying sticky icky. I keep it sticky icky like lip gloss. And you know I'm sugary st- sweet. A baby boy gonna rot your teeth like drip, drip, so slick. That's my think... lip gloss. Good song, right? I don't think I so, w- ever thought I would ever hear you say the word baby boy. That's just the song. I'm just singing the lyrics. No, I loved it. And I was bumping this whole album by Charlie. And some friends were like, like, Charlie XCX, really? Like, that stuff's so corny, whatever. And I was like, there's actually some really good songs. You on discovered here. Charlie XCX. I didn't. Is what you're I didn't. I okay. just said I'm not gonna try to pretend like that type of so that's person. That's what you're saying. Because right. they knew who she was. Right. I wasn't but discovering her. And um I just totally not embarrassed listening to her. And those same people that were making fun of me. Guess who they fuck with today? You fucking Charlie XCX. I was like that with the nineteen seventy five. Okay, well, actually my male friends. Because the nineteen seventy five used to be a girl band, right? Or like for the girls and the gays. For the girls and the gays. For the girls and the gays. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yes. And then, like, back in their, like, Tumblr days. Mm-hmm. And then, and I was like, no, these guys rock. And now all my fucking musical straight friends love them. And guy friends and whatever the fuck. I like the 1975. Yes, no, that's what I mean. They're they're a good band and they always were. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. I didn't know who they were until... 
their 2017 album is that what it was that when it came out see i went to the concert in 2013 i think yeah okay so, so that's what i'm saying i didn't even know who they were so fuck your yeah song. but it's not like i didn't like them it's not no. like i was shaming them and then came around to like them no i get it i just didn't know them um well if anyone's wondering how my thanksgiving was alone, wait real quick what not celeb gossip all that much but kind of Charlie XCX, 1975. Yeah, you don't know about this gossip. Yes, I do. That she's dating this the the guitarist. No, that's what drummer. Drummer, okay. producer. Yeah, what's his name? I feel like it's Alex. Nope. I feel like it's. I've liked their. I've liked. It's in my likes in my TikTok likes of the pictures of them together. They've been dating for a bit. George. Yes. What's his last name? I have no fuck Harrison. Daniel. Yeah, George Harrison. George Daniel. Okay. Well. You thought you got me with that one. No, no, and no. And I'm no, already no, no. on it. Bit of a hot take for me, maybe, with this, actually. Okay. It's not a hot take, but for whatever reason, I thought, well, I had known, I guess, that Charlie was in a relationship with some guy who seemingly was just like, you know, just a uh, regular like I, guy. He wasn't doing musical stuff. I think he maybe just had a job or didn't. I think he didn't. But it was just kind I of like. It was the vibe I got. You know, supporting mm-hmm. her and what she was doing, and well, so she was supporting him. Okay, but you know what I mean. Yeah, he su- he supported what she did. That's fine. Mm-hmm. But you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, actually, no shade to that. <laughs> and um, you know, I obviously don't know the backstory, but just from what I saw, when I was just like, oh, she's dating this guy now. I was like, damn, did she just kind of like leave him in the dust? This guy it made me feel well, really bad for him. But I'm also very happy for her and George Daniel. I think that I this think is a couple that is thriving. Mm-hmm. They are British. Both of them. British. <laughs> First off. And he's in one of the biggest bands in the world. She is an absolute icon and true artist and um, queen. And I think that she needs someone who's not intimidated by that, which I think a lot of men would be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's what I think. Um, I wouldn't be. Really? Did you want to date her? Nope. No. Nope. Why? But I wouldn't be intimidated. You like girl bosses. Mm. You like. She got her own thing. That's why I love her. This is we have been singing this whole. We're gonna get this taken down. We can't go that crazy. No, because then it's all copyrighted. We can sing. No, you literally can't. I've seen podcasts, watch podcasts, and they're like, we can't sing about copyright. Right. It's true. Um. Anyways, so uh, what the heck? Thanksgiving for me, my my second American Thanksgiving. What did I do? I watched two episodes of Survivor and two episodes of The Golden Bachelor, and a documentary about a, a beekeeper in Northern Macedonia. And I ate chips. What flavor? Mm. What's it called? Peppuccino? Peppuccino? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> no, I did. What's it called? Pepperoncini. Pepperoncini. Pe- <laughs> what's it called? Peppuccino? It's like what coffee. Is it? Pepperci- Peppuccino? Pepperoncini. Peppuccini. Peppuccini. Pepperoncini. Yeah. The yellow one. The yellow yes. bag. You know, the like one. the peppers. Oh, it's fucking slaps my ass. That and I had some cookies that I made. I can't say I've ever had those chips. I've seen them. I've seen the bag. You're missing out. But I have not had them. You're missing out. On Everyone, chips. comment down below your favorite chip flavor. You know what I was thinking recently? Um, so, first and foremost, I came up with another concept idea or a uh, segment idea. Hit me. Segment concept is what I really meant to say. Um, we should we should do our like ins and outs. Like this is in, this is out. Wow. And we just, and with no explanation. Mm-hmm. We just dun, 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 dun. Just okay. random thing. Just in, out. Off the dome. I say, Hit me. I'll start with my outs. Okay. okay. Out, kettle cooked chips. Mm. 
out. I'm so over that. Give me just regular potato chips. I go to the grocery store. I go to the corner store, so whatever, and all I see is kettle cooked. I don't want kettle cooked chips anymore. Out. They're out. They're out. Come out with a cool, awesome flavor of chip that's just regular potato that, chips. That I so don't wrong. want kettle cooked so chips wrong. anymore. That is so I wrong. don't want them. Okay. I want the option I'll for something it. else. But I'll respect everything it. is just another fucking kettle cooked it's, chip because it's an adult chip it's not a fucking crispy thing that melts in your mouth you have to actually crunch it i don't care it's a it's a full meal no see this is this is what inspired this i was gonna say frito-lay owns the chip market they own it they own it they've got cheetos they have flame and hot anything f- that says flame and hot on it this is what's in is frito-lay well i'm just in general they're owning the chip market doritos okay flame and hot doritos yeah great Two amazing... Great. A big fucking corporation that's stealing our fucking billions of dollars. Awesome. Yep. Oh, and making America and Northern America obese. Fuck off. Honestly, just just OG barbecue lays. I've thrown up from those when I was five years old (laughs) and I can't eat them again. I love those. And I hate when I have, when I want barbecue chips and all they have are, are Joe chips, kettle cooked. I'm like, I don't want your chips, Joe. I want Lay's. Give me Lay's. They're out. Kettle Cooked is out. What's out for you? We could never be. We could. This is so. What's out for so you? wrong for us. Um, out for me. Blundstones. Recently. What's that? Blundstones. What the is shoes. That? Oh. They're they're very much like a. Like everyone and their mom owns them. Yeah. And. They're out. I think they're out. Gone. See ya. We, now make that noise. <laughs> Sound effect. <sighs> Now I have to Sound remember to do that. Qu- out? Yeah. Boing. Out. <laughs> Damn, I like, now, I have I like to, a, now I have to find something for that. I gave you... No, I just gave you the sign of it because I just made it myself. Boing. That's out. <laughs> well. Out. Shall we... You ready for another out? Yeah. Oh, no. Out. Out. Edibles, bro. They're out. No one wants your little gummies. No one wants your weed gummies, mushroom gummies. They're out. I don't care about silo, all this stuff. Do the real shit. Smoke. Take mushrooms. Your edibles are trash. Out. They're out. (laughs) That was good. I like your... Kyle's getting... Someone commented... I think I've become a more calm person from listening to Kyle talk. Oh, that's but I, gonna send I love them. when your energy gonna send them a goes little bit. up. It's, well, it's this one awesome. we didn't even talk about. This is a, what, 8 p.m.? This is an 8 p.m. Or We're at 8 we are PM. finding the groove, people. But that we 3 p.m. one was really good. I really liked the 3 p.m. one from the last time. Yeah. Episode 6. I think, my, I think I'm, a, I'm a knight. What else you got that's out? I got I got an in. You want the one that's in? The subway? No. The subway's fucking out. In. The subway's oh. in. The in? subway's in. Yeah. Has it been out or is it just in? Some, now? When I'm in Toronto, the subway's out. I ball out on Ubers. Yeah. So we're riding. Yeah. We're I'm riding. Loving it. Yep. Subway's in. The subway's where I meditate. The subway's where I where I have fucking epiphanies about my life. Mm. Where I text my mom and I give I go, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. For everything that you do. Out. Let me think here. Um, well, McDonald's. So out. So out. Sorry. It's ass. I think they're more in than they've ever been. God, no. McRib is back. <laughs> they just dropped What a, is a McRib? A McRib is one of the best sandwiches you'll ever have in your entire life. What? No, that's a lie. But I do like I a don't. McRib. It's good. It's kind of good. It's really disgusting, but no. it's kind of good. It's got no. onions and pickles and barbecue sauce. Uh-uh. There's... It's kind of really good. What's another out? This is... I feel like I have a big one, but I can't quite... An out? You know what's in? What? Uh, words of affirmation to the homies. Let your friends know they're good. Yeah. They're doing a good job. You know? Hey, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Yeah. Let's uplift. Let's not yeah. tear down. Yes. Let's uplift. When your friend's doing a, uh, something and you're like, 
you know, maybe you're like, oh, I wish I was, I wish I was where they were at. And you get a little jealous. Instead of being jealous, be like, you know what? I'm stoked for them. I'm going to let them know, hey, yeah, you're doing an awesome job. That's right. And I'm really happy. I agree with that. That's in. That was a big theme for me today. I like that. That's in. Mm-hmm. I, that's not even why I said that. Um, that's in. Damn it. Now I had it, but I li- was really listening to you. So that's how you know when you're really, really listening to someone is when you forget what you're going to say. One more. In or out. Come on, we can't have all this dead space. I know, I we can't know. Just, we can't just sit I here. I know. That's, it's real time and it's real thinking is what's happening. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I've, uh, um, apps. Apps are out. Fuck with that. Dating apps are out. Oh, dating apps yes. specifically. Or any apps, really. Or no, some apps are, are helpful. I think dating apps are... No, I think apps, apps are... in general are out, though. I can agree with just apps. Okay, but I'm going to say specifically dating apps. Uh, I am not on them. People have asked. I'm uh, not on them. Send, send that DM. Ask for th- the coffee. Texting also kind of out. Yeah, kind of. Also on the dating apps thing. Uh, go ask just go out. out. Yeah, go out. Find someone out and about. Yes. On the subway. Yes. I don't think I've ever met anyone from an app. I think I have. Well, that's. Well, that's awesome, Kyle. I have, in fact. You dated someone from an app? Mm. No. No. So it hasn't worked. There Mm. you go. I mean, some people get married from apps, but I'm going to say it. Some people. Ask someone out. Be brave. Okay. Being brave and asking someone out. I want to try this cookie is what I'm really thinking about. Oh shit! But the, for the audio listeners, this might be the worst. Do you hear that experience? Oh, let's go! Oh snap! What the hell? She's moving to that. <laughs> People can hear me moving around. And do you know what that means? What are you doing? I want that cookie. I'll get them. Okay. <laughs> Um, Kyle, Kyle was very Q and A, and brought us, and brought us. Well, I was passing this spot on your car. On my way home, and I thought <gasps> these look good. In your car or in on what? In my car. And you stopped in your car to go get it. Yeah, it was looking good, and I thought that, that looks pretty good. The sweetest thing you has. Ever anyone heard of Levain Bakery? I feel like this is actually just super popular, and everyone's gonna be like, what? What? But I saw it in Williamsburg, and I was like, oh, a little, a little bakery. Um, anyway, it's Q&A time, and we're going to do this with a couple cookies. Uh-huh. How oh, is wow. that? Oh, that's good. That's really good, Levain Bakery. This is a bad idea. Mm. Holy shit. She thick, though. That is a thick cookie. Wow. This is a really bad idea. Are you going to keep snacking on that? No, I, I've decided. After one bite, I'm good. Wow. Oh, you already had some before. Guys. Go to Levain Bakery. Mm-hmm. What the hell? I fuck with that hard. Just leave it there. I'm not gonna chew it. I'm not gonna eat it. But if you're not gonna eat it, I'm not gonna leave it on display. Okay. Yeah, put it on the ground. Alright, bust out that phone. Let's get into some QA. Mm-hmm. I think what we do. Let's pick a couple. Since last time, we couldn't do it. The idea that you had was that we don't get distracted. The idea was that we go back and forth. <laughs> you you pick a question. I got an email. I pick a question. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So head to the page. I'll pull it up. <clears throat> and these questions, once again, they come from our Patreon. From the Patreon. All mm-hmm. right. Here we go. Here we go, Mario. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, this is a great one. <laughs> Honestly, space right now. this is now this is this is really great. Okay, we're starting off heavy. What do you believe is the meaning of life? Jesus fuck. And what's your main goal or something you feel like you need to achieve before you die? Holy shit! <laughs> oh, I was not ready. I've had a recess. My my brain is slowly. That's from Corey. All right, meaning of life. 
Meaning of life is to love and be loved. Mm. Biggest goal to achieve is... No, 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 no. Not biggest goal. What's your main goal? My main goal is that as well. Mm -hmm. Done. You go. But along the way, we, you know, I'd like to, you know, I'd like to um, succeed in my creative endeavors. You already do. You know, but I'd like to keep succeeding Mm -hmm. because once you get somewhere, you kind of have to like keep going up. I feel like I'd like to constantly be going up growing mm-hmm. constantly growing someone Meaning said of life someone once said you're either growing or you're dying i think you're doing both mm, i don't know i think you're doing both at the same time i don't know you're either I growing or you're know. dying you're- i'm not talking about physically i'm talking about like you know continue to grow otherwise you're doing the opposite of that but i think you're there's doing no in both. between you're either I going think you're up ab- or you're dying going down. all the time. Okay, thanks. Thanks for taking me seriously. <laughs> <laughs> our boy no. Hayden. Okay. What? No, go, go. Boy, our boy Hayden. Hayden came through with a we nice, love Hayden so much. Nice question. Shout out Hayden. Ernest check in. How are you guys doing? Like for real. You guys have seemingly had a lot of big changes recently. Moving for V, starting a podcast, clothing line slash merchandise, live shows, etc. Are you getting overwhelmed? If so, what do you do to stay grounded and take care of yourselves? Love y'all. You go first. Super overwhelmed, but in a way that makes me feel alive. It's like I'm overwhelmed, but this is like what I want. I want to be busy. I want to be, I want my time to be filled with things. And what I do, I mean, it is overwhelming and can be really stressful, but what I do to stay grounded, um, or just little things, just making sure I have like me time, you know, that helps for sure. Um, um, I would say like working out and exercising, but I have not been doing that during this time and I really need to get back on it because I know that's going to help. I know it's going to help big time. It definitely does. What about you? Um, yeah, how am I doing? Today, I... I don't know. I don't know why you're asking me that. I was asking the myself question. that out loud. Oh, okay. Okay? Um, there are two people in the room. Uh, today, I was sad. Today, I was sad. I was overwhelmed with... I was just thinking about... Hmm. I, over overall, I'm doing really well, and I'm really happy. And I'm really lucky, and there's a lot of exciting things happening. And same thing, very overwhelmed, but also enjoying it. Um, but today, I was just like more of like on some woman stuff of like just the pressures of and how we talk about. Yeah, no worries. There, what is that? Just the microphone falling <laughs> apart. It's okay. Um. The pressures of, of not even looking a certain way, but just that it's always invited to comment on people's everything, appearance, how their voice sounds, everything. It's just like, it's constant. And I think, I don't know, today I was just really thinking about that. And I was like, oh, that really sucks. And I've talked shit about people and that's, and I have never met them. And I don't know, that's like so obvious, but Mm. really, um, yeah, there is, sometimes I just wish I, I like to express myself with, with whatever my, the way I look as everyone does, but, um, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't think men really understand. I don't know, but I don't know, just really getting real there. I'm getting real there just cause it just. You're too skinny or too fat. You know, that's just so, it's obvious stuff. But it is, it's just true. And it's just a reminder that you don't know that person. And uh, just, uh, you probably have something weird with your face or your voice as well. Like, I'm not saying that, but everyone does, you know, or an insecurity. And it's just like so obvious when someone comments something like that. And I don't get those often at all. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking about the, the women that do or the people that do. I was like, that fucking must suck ass and that's what i was thinking about yeah kind of leads us into the next question okay pretty well 
<sighs> and yeah, I work out and um, read and have a tea. For Gavin says, grounding. I've noticed that Kyle doesn't like enunciating the L in words that end in LD, like told, which to me sounds like I'm saying the L. Told, bold, and hold. Being said like Todd, which I guess is maybe toad, bowed, and hoed. It's endearing, don't you fret? Are there other unique pronunciations or verbal quirks that you both have? If so, which ones bother you the most about each other and which do you like? For example, I say both like both and I refuse to change and you can't make me. I know some people that actually say both. I feel like you kind of say that a little both? bit. Both? No, you don't. Both. What I do definitely you say? have some things. You say yeah. tag, 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 yeah. tag, tag, tag. My mom says, well, it's her accent. She can't say squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> what else do you say? What else do you have that's like that? I don't mm. know. I guess I don't notice any about myself. But maybe you do. I remember this one time it got me. But you definitely with the AGs. You're on the tag, bag. That's my Canadian. Bag. Bagel. Bagel. Yeah. I say milk. Milk. Yeah, but some say milk. What? Some people say milk. Okay, but that's not how you say it. It's red. M- it's milk. Red. What else do now I say? Now you're just doing a country no, I accent. No. Red. No, 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 no. Red. Just, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. You're just doing like a southern uh-huh. country accent. What's but, something that I say that, or something maybe that I pronounce weirdly? Well, it was like the other day we're in the car and I was like, I've never heard, oh, locked it down with a shorty. Oh, that's just dialect. But it was like so, I was like, no one in Canada would say this. Yeah. What was it? Oh, and then he locked it down with her, her, his shorty. I think he said, I think I said locked it in. He locked it in with his shorty. Or he locked down maybe with his shorty. But which it was just, very natural for you. Like which I was just like, simply Whoa. means that he just locked down with a shorty, which means he locked down got with a shorty. He didn't get married he necessarily. No, it just means that he went away from the the what else the other things that he was doing, his other obligations maybe, mm-hmm. and just I, I just want to say the word locked in again. Great, just went with her. I and, respect that, and kind of was like you know stepped stepped away from the light to be with Bay. And who are you talking about? I don't even want to say it because what? once they listen, I'm not going to say it. I'm okay, not going to say fine. it. Manifesting. Veronica, I saw you live last week in Brooklyn and you were amazing. Let's clap. That's awesome. What? <clears throat> you had a great stage presence and good chemistry with the other performers as well. My question is, are there any up and coming NYC based comedians that you would recommend people to go see? I personally love Eric Rahill. I think everything he touches is absolutely hilarious. Fuck yeah. Um, Eric's awesome. I was going to recommend him. Eric and Eric Rahill and Jack Bensinger um, and Rachel Callie and um, oh my God. I love Zach Schiffman. I love um, fuck me. Well, Chloe. NYC. It's got to be NYC based. Chloe Trost. Yeah. We love Chloe. Up and Chloe, coming. Up and coming. <laughs> yeah. Um, damn, I can't. Tessa. I'm so bad. I don't like that you have to look things up. I do up. really do. I don't have my Tessa phone. Bell. Tessa Bell. I love. Oh, Richard Perez. I love. Okay, those are who, who, I'll, who I'll say. Um, but thank you so much for coming to the show. And it was so much fun. Mm-hmm. Um, he added, William. Well, he didn't respond and said, Ray Hill's a genius. Yep. He's how I discovered Veronica's account. How about that? Wow. And then Will came back and said he really is. That's cool, though. I discovered them both independently and had a mindfuck moment recently when I saw them together in middle-sized things. Wow. One of their friend Michael's short films is I discovered That's Veronica. That's Michael yes. Michael. That is our Michael. That's so sweet. I love that. Um, okay. Deep and dark one. <clears throat> what do you think happens after we die? No. Does that I idea scare these. you? I don't want to answer that one. I really don't. I don't like talking about it. So yes, I'll talk about me. it. No. Can I can't just say not it. Talk about it. I please. All right. I just I think ha- it's. I think it's a beautiful I've thing. Existen- after I have existential anxiety. I do. Okay. I just think it's a beautiful thing. Whatever happens after. Me too. I really do. Um, 
David says, yo, Kyle, I see you follow 454 Squills on Instagram and vice versa. Do you know him personally or is it just because of the Dybbuk collab with him? I fucking love his music. Do you guys listen to his music? I saw one of his songs from his newer EP and Veronica's Patreon Spotify playlist. Shout out Patreon. Um, I do personally know Squills, a.k.a. Willie, um, through... Zach? I would say through Zach, but my friend actually sent me him a couple of years ago. What? I got a hair? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple of years ago. And Zach reached out to him and we followed each other and just had been following each other for some time. And then when I moved to New York, I, yeah, I guess, you know, was playing his music and then he was just like in the skate scene in New York, the New York skate scene. Cause he's really, really, really good at skateboarding, like damn. pro level. He's really good. And Dan was like, we should get him some shoes. So, you know, we ended up making it happen. He loved them. He came to the warehouse and was just like the nicest guy I've ever met in the entire world. Just like super mm -hmm. sweet, super kind, like so grateful that we love his music and everything like that. Mm -hmm really good guy like um that. and then the collab just happened kind of naturally through dybbuk um mm -hmm. you know but yeah great guy yeah. and we love his music we i love, love his music, music. we saw I, him live I, yeah at uh new year's last year that baby's all right yeah it was fun um shelby c says y'all have gorgeous hair what is your hair care routine slash fave products wow thank you i just got um this new mask see now i'm gonna have to look it up I don't remember things. That's crazy. I want to. I know. I really have an issue. Well, I don't know what my shampoo it's not is called. called. A twenty four. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> but it is. It's like a number, and it's like a, a letter and then a number. Let me look it up. Okay. Well, I'll go while you're yes, doing please that. Go. Um, I have a shampoo. I don't know what it's called. Also, but I don't feel the need to look it up. Um, I got it on Amazon. It is a sulfate-free hair thickening shampoo. You could probably find it just from that. Um, I also don't, I'm a big believer in not shampooing often. I think that mm, yeah. natural oils in your hair are very healthy for your hair, especially for shorter hair like mine. Oh, for all hair. For all hair. I think it's, you it's good. Wash. Mm -hmm. Don't wash too often, especially with sulfates. Ugh, they're so bad. Um, I use Aesop conditioner, bougie, yeah. super bougie Aesop conditioner. Um, products outside of that. In, uh, oh, I use macadamia nut leave-in conditioner, and that is like an everyday sort of thing. And then I use uh, Bumble and Bumble sea, sp sea salt spray. You sometimes have a whole, thing. but not always. The sea salt spray is kind of a more rare occurrence for me, but that's definitely something I'm using. I like it. Um, K18 is the one you can buy it at Sephora, and it's like a, a leave-in mask and. Um, and then, yeah, I really ball out with my shampoos from just like from my hairdresser because I dye my hair blonde. Um, so spend that money, invest in, ask your hairdresser. They, they know mm -hmm. K18. I, re I really recommend that shit is awesome. You got that from your, she recommended recent? it, but I got it yeah. at Sephora. Mm -hmm. That's fire. And it was like actually the most nice the greatest experience where i was like three people helped me and then like we couldn't find it and then i went to the cashier and then i was gonna buy something else and i asked and she was like yeah we don't whatever we don't have we don't have it it was like the small one i wanted and then as i was leaving the store someone ran after me i was like we found it and then there's like a whole team that like was looking for it and finding it it was like a busy sephora you know why why? They recognized you. No, they didn't. They knew you. No, they yes, didn't. Yes, they did. I think they were just nice. They knew you. No, they did not. They knew you. Last question. What's the best thing you've ever thrifted? Do you don't you know? It? Well, I have a good thrift story. I still have the t-shirt. Um, back in the day, I was really into wolf shirts. I feel oh, like yeah. that was kind of like that a was, thing, oh, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. It was or like unicorn shirts? Nope. Wolf specifically. How to yes, be a wolf. But yes, uh, yes but yes. But you know the ones. Yep. Um, and I went to a thrift store just like searching for one. I just had to find it. Couldn't find it. You're burping? I'm really burping. <laughs> I had to find one. This is called Valley Thrift in Cincinnati. And 
couldn't find anything. I bought some other dumb stuff and I'm outside in the parking lot and there is just a shirt that had been in the parking lot clearly for a while. Cars running over it, Whoa. all this stuff. But I saw like a little glimpse of something that I was yeah. like, is that a wolf? And I pick it up and I shake it out and it just says cry of the wild and it has a big wolf on it. And I was like, wow. Wow. So what did I do? The shirt was like wet. Of course, you took it home it was, and you washed it. Yeah, I washed it like five times, wow. just back to back to back. And I still have it. It's in my closet. It's a great shirt. I'll wear it on the next episode. Okay, that's awesome. It's a really good that's one. That's a great story. Yep. That's got to be... See, that doesn't... I don't know if that counts. That but counts. it's kind of thrifted. Yeah, you know? that's special. I think any... The greatest finds don't have to be like the coolest thing. It's it's the story. Yeah. I had once where I was in this improv troupe when I was um, in high school. We like we didn't go to the same high school. Like We did this on our own where we would rent a space... And we would hire or not hire, but like invite like a high school band to open for us, like an SNL thing. And we would like perform whatever once mm-hmm. a month. And we made merch like fully. We were just like, fuck yeah. I, yeah. We were just on it. And years later, my sister, this isn't my story. Sorry, my sister sends me a photo of the Valley Village, which is like our big Goodwill. And it's called Valley Village. Yeah. The one I, mine, mine was that was called Valley Thrift. It's value value yeah i thought you said valley sorry value there we go i said something weird um and it's i mumble that's a thing and yeah and 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 the the shirt was there and i was like wow we fucking made it (laughs) even though someone got rid of it yeah but but you made it that's huge yeah come up i thought that was pretty cool major come up i can't think if i've ever really gotten anything else yeah aside from that well what i used to do and this isn't thrifted, I guess. I don't know. Because this thing has become such a... Because, you know, like, thrifted stuff has become such a thing. Um, there's people that kind of, like, curate now a mm-hmm. little bit. And it's not, like, vintage. It is, but it's still different. Um, yeah, no, I guess this is totally different. I don't know. There's this guy in L.A., who has just a warehouse out in like like way down south in LA. It's like a drive to get to. And me and Andrew would go to him often. You'd have to text him to go. And then he opens up the warehouse and you just go and just look around. He just got racks of stuff from like the 40s, 50s, 60s. I guess that is vintage. It's, yeah, a, little, I think that's vintage. it's a little more curated yeah. than this. But he doesn't sell it for very it's not a it's not a high price which makes me feel like it's more thrifted. Like there's t-shirts in there that you'd find at the thrift store Mm -hmm. for the exact same price. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I fuck with that. And stuff that I would get there always is like these like old basketball jerseys from like the 60s. I think that's I don't know. That's pretty cool. That's thrifted, right? Yeah. Just because it's curated, it's still thrifted. Um, That stuff's pretty cool. Is that... Uh, that, you're gonna get mad at me what are we ending it <sighs> i'm not gonna get mad the, they're gonna get mad no no thank you so much for watching everybody <laughs> that was episode seven can you believe it yeah i can't believe it but dimitri how often do you wear these are thrifted mm-hmm. how often do i wear thrifted stuff constantly yeah. I, I thrift a lot. Or not thrift a lot, but like, I believe in reusing. I use a lot. Recycling. A lot of the shit that I wear is not new. And it's not because I believe in, well, it's I just, do believe in that. Yeah. But it's just, it's comfy. There's something comfy, about something unique. that someone else has worn, you know? Mm-hmm. Sometimes not, but like, but, but, sometimes, but yeah. mostly yes. Oh, anyway, hey. that's it. We're going to go to a, we're going to go see Dream Scenario. Which I don't know if you recall. We were supposed to see <laughs> four episodes ago. Still haven't seen it, but we're going to see it now. Also, I saw The Holdovers. Go see that. With yeah. Paul Giamatti. Okay. Very, very good movie. There's a lot of good movies out right now. Yeah. We got a squad. I love going to the movies with the squad. Yeah. And we got a little squad tonight. I need to get sick. that truffle popcorn. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good day. Happy Monday. We love you, and we'll talk to you 
next time in LA. No, well, we'll see. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Next episode might be in LA. Who knows? Damn. I also wanted to say that I feel like, um, uh, we'll get, we'll do, uh, the first season of Nevermind mm -hmm. will be 10 episodes and episode 11, we're going to come in with something different. You think? Yes. It's okay. Gonna, it's going to be at least a little We different. have not talked about this, so. Yep. At all. You're I'm springing it. this on. I'm okay. calling it right now. Okay. Okay. I trust it. I as just, soon as season is... two starts, because I've been inputting these. Is it going to be these, a different room? Who knows? But something's going to be different. All right. And I definitely suggest watching if you're just an audio listener. I definitely suggest tapping into the... <laughs> okay. To the visuals, because there might be something you're, crazy. You're promising big things And to here. make sure you don't miss out on that, guys. No, please don't. Subscribe. Comment. Like. Follow us on Everything. Instagram and all that fucking whatever. shit. Whatever. Yeah. And, oh, you know what? What? Sorry, last thing before, yeah. I, before I end. Um, I've got a nice big, a, a nice big influx of followers. I hope that's the right word for that. Yes. Of followers on Porky Dalton. Yes. And Slammin' Aaron's. Damn. After shouting it out in the That's, last one. Slammin' Aaron's is the best. And now I'm feeling a little bit of pressure. No, it's good. To post. Slammin' Aaron's, trust yourself. I'm feeling a little pressure. Trust yourself. I like it. Okay. Anyway. Say goodbye eight times now. We're leaving for real. Bye. Bye. I was going to do like a more, uh, like a. We leave me one more time? Epic. Yeah, like a more like epic goodbye. Okay. Like a more like, uh, um, thank you guys so much. And thank you as always. Thank you guys so much. Let's go out on a freestyle. Okay. Since you like to do that. Sure. You ready? Yep. We talked, we laughed. We even had a hug. No, we didn't. Cause I'm a little bug crawling underneath your sheets last night. And I'm giving you just a little bite. Just a little treat. Just a little meat. Please, no, please, no, don't see me. I'm just a little bug. Can you marry me? That's the song. That's the song. And now we're going to the movies. <laughs> Okay. Well, that was, that was the good. The was good. Bye, y'all. Oh, I, I stepped on the cookies. I stepped on the cookies. Yeah.